Celebrating 90 years of Decca Records. In the late 1940s, a young Lancashire contralto briefly blessed the musical world with her hauntingly beautiful voice. She seemed to bring into this world a radiance from another, was one of the eulogies at her funeral. And her recordings, like this Northumbrian folk song, Blow the Wind Southerly, continue to touch hearts today. Recorded in February 1949, Blow the Wind Southerly is one of the quintessential Decca recordings. Produced by John Calshaw and made at Decca's famous Broadhurst Garden studio in West Hampstead, it is one of the treasures of the early Decca catalogue, like Ferrier's later recording of Mahler's Das Lied von der Erde. It was through Mahler that Ferrier formed a close association with the great German conductor and pianist Bruno Walter. They performed together at the newly founded Edinburgh International Festival. My father attended one of those recitals and vividly recalls how at the end of the concert, Ferrier turned to the audience who had been sat behind her and sang an encore especially for them. In 1951, Ferrier first discovered the signs of breast cancer. She died two years later at the tragically young age of 41 and at the height of her fame. Bruno Walter was moved to write, the greatest thing in music in my life has been to have known Kathleen Ferrier and Gustav Mahler in that order. <laughs> 